do rock in your Wednesday with the jukebox jam from the legendary Flamingos. Next. Hey, Billboard magazine hails the Flamingos as one of the best and most influential vocal groups in pop history. And they have been immortalized in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, aside from all the PBS specials. And they have not performed on live network television since American Bandstand in 1959. They have not until today, y'all, not until today. Do the honors, Mr. Clark. Many of you, I'm sure, will remember this tune. It's a very old song. I only have eyes for you. And to do it, here are the flamingos. My love must be a kind of my love. I can't see anyone but you. It's cloudy or bright Every time, <laughs> it hits every time. Terry, you're the last original member of the Flamingos. Please introduce us to the Flamingos of today. Stan Princeton. <laughs> Starling Newsom. Our musical director and vocalist, Miss Teresa Trigg. <laughs> Teresa, how long have you been with the group? 39 years. <laughs> and you knew when you, how did you know? What made you say, I want to be a flamenco? Well, when Terry and I met, we discovered very earlier that we were very compatible mm -hmm. as writing and producing partners. 
And the Flamingos, the original Flamingos, their stage show was Variety. Yes. So I covered the girl in, the Tina right. Turner, right. Dennis Joplin. It's fantastic. <laughs> that stuff. That's <laughs> um, you guys are working with boys to men, right? Is this yes. a yes. rumor? Terry and I. and I just produced them, went to California, and... Uh, with the, and they're doing I Only Have Eyes for You. Mm. Oh. Fantastic. These guys can sound. Oh, yeah. Like y'all. Yes. Oh, yeah. And so now, when did you join? When did you join the Flamingo? About four years ago. Really? Four years ago, yeah. They, the manager had called me up and uh, asked if I wanted to be in the group because they saw me on YouTube. I said, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> they, came, they came to see me. It was love at first sight. Love at first sight. And how about you? Four years. Wow. Yes. And so you keeping the music going? Oh, you have to. Well, hey. I mean, those two don't know. You know, I, I, I grew up. I grew up too because my mom played you guys, and my dad. You know, I, I was grew up cleaning the house to music like this. Um, but you guys influenced so many people, like the Temptations and the Imperials and Frankie and Valley, and the groups. In, in your category are known for their choreography, right? Yeah. And you just smoothed it out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so who comes up with the choreography? Why is it such a staple in doo-wop group? Well, Paul Wilson was uh, the main was choreographer. The he, mm. And he was the man, the dimples. Mm. Okay. Call them dimples. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. Like and uh, yeah, and I still, I still, I'm, I'm, I can dance. You got I, it. I, I, can do, I, I mean, no, I'm fast though. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But can you do the nene? I can do the nene and the bebe and the say <laughs> As I was speaking about my dancing abilities, <laughs> no, I, I, everybody, watch. We're ready. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> that was bad. That was that was bad. bad. <laughs> I have no same ability. <laughs> Just like that. And so, when did you all realize as this group? that yes we found that sound because it's very specific mm -hmm. it's very it's smooth you just want to get all in the bed with somebody oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know How, when did you know that that this incarnation was going to work when i first met these guys they were so unique i knew it was a blessing from god mm -hmm. because it had that same tone that the flamingos mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. when i was teaching them what i wanted them to do right. these guys they laid it on me. How old were you got when you when the flamingo started? Eighteen. Mm, mm, mm. I have a question for Teresa. Mm. So, is it true that you're the first female member of the group? How did mm -hmm. you convince him? Oh, gosh, that's a good question. Um, well, like I said, the main thing was the original flamingos. A lot of people don't know this because they just see the Dick Clark right. clips. Right. But on their live stage show, they did. All yeah. styles of music. Yeah. Okay. So I, like I said, I cover the female artists, Diana Ross, all those different flavors for right. variety Diana. of music for the right. people. Okay. It's the Tina Turner. She does a great Tina. Oh, oh see. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, listen. I know y'all fell in love right now. So if you want to see the Flamingos again, they're appearing in concert at Resorts Casino in Atlantic City on Friday, July 10th, and at the Highlander Auditorium in Upland, California, on July 18th. Baby. This is no joke. Please, thank you, Flamencos, for coming and gracing us.